Welcome to Texel Chemical Processing. Myself, I am Gopal Abhishek, Assistant Professor, Department of Textile Technology. Today, we are going to see VAD dyes and sulfur dyes for uh, cellulosic uh, materials. Normally, cellulosic fibers like cotton can be dyed with uh, direct dyes, reactive dyes, VAD, sulfur, azoic, and pigment dyes. So, in the last class, we have seen uh, direct dyes and uh, reactive dyes. So, today we will see VAD dyes. So, VAD dye is a uh, is a very important uh, class of dye for cellulosic material. So this is the oldest dye in the dye list. Indigo is one uh, class of uh, VAD dyes uh, that is the oldest dye used in uh, textile materials and uh, VAD dyes are insoluble in water and uh, it has a very good substantivity towards cellulosic that is a uh, liquid VAD dye is have a very good uh, substantivity and uh, insoluble form it doesn't have a affinity or substantivity towards cellulosic fibers so only the dissolved vad dyes that is leuco vad dyes uh, having a substantivity once it is dyed the dye can be converted into insoluble form by oxidation method leuco compound that is a dissolved uh, vad dyes often uh, colorless and sometimes it is different color to the original uh, color for example if you take a, if you take a blue color so the dye dissolved dye will not have uh, the blue color so somewhat uh, different colors normally it is in a green color so the dissolved dye is in a green color for so now normally bad dyes are uh, natural dyes nowadays uh, synthetic dyes also are also available uh, in the market before uh, using the reducing agent to dissolve the VAD dyes. They used a fermentation process and they used a wooden vessel to dissolve the VAD dyes. So because of the vessel, normally the wooden vessel we called as a VAD. So because of that, the dye is called as a VAD dyes. And indigo is the most important uh, class of VAD dyes used in, uh, in this class. And uh, most of the denims are dyed with uh, indigo dyes. Properties of VAD dyes. Bad dyes are uh, natural coloring uh, matters. Nowadays, synthetic dye, uh, dye, are, dye is also available. Bad dyes are insoluble in water, and uh, the process to reduce the bad dye is called vatting. So that is needed for uh, bad dyes. So we have to convert this uh, insoluble bad dye into soluble bad dye. And the final color is uh, developed only by the oxidation process. Before that, the color will be different from the original color. Vatting can be done in alkaline medium with the reducing agent and a uh, reduction is the process to reduce the VAD dye and uh, the fastness properties of VAD dyes are excellent uh, and it, it is uh, better than uh, reactive dyes. Normally the reactive dyes uh, are very poor uh, in chlorine uh, fastness whereas the VAD dyes are very good uh, in uh, chlorine fastness and sometimes it causes some uh, skin disease so don't prefer uh, VAD dyes for children's wear and uh, it is mainly used for cellulosic fibers. Stability of the color in the fiber is excellent and uh, you can uh, get the very good fastness properties and application of uh, VAD dyes are limited in practical life because of the cost so the cost of the VAD dyes are very high so it is expensive than uh, reactive dyes or other class of dyes uh, normally the reactive dyes uh, the cost of the reactive dye is around uh, 200 to 500 rupees per kg whereas the VAD dyes are uh, 2000 to 3000 rupees per kg. There are three main uh, types of uh, VAD dyes are available Indathrin uh, normal and uh, IW Indathrin warm and IK Indathrin. So these three types are available and uh, IN that means Indathrin normal means so we can dye the VAD dyes and uh, vatting is at uh, 60 degrees Celsius. So the vatting temperature and dyeing temperature is around 60 degrees Celsius and uh, for this class of dyes no need of salt to exhaust the dyes. So this is for uh, one class of bad dyes and another class is uh, interthrin uh, warm and it requires uh, concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide to uh, reduce the bad dye and lowering the vatting temperature that is 50 degrees Celsius and dyeing temperature is also around 50 degrees Celsius and the leuco form of VAD dyes that is soluble VAD dye will have a moderate substantivity for uh, cotton so addition of salt is uh, needed for good uh, exhaustion so in dyeing they will add uh, some salt to exhaust the VAD dyes and uh, the third 
class IK so that is a indeterminate coal in this class of uh, wad dyes you can uh, reduce the wad dye at lowering temperatures around 40 degrees celsius and dyeing temperature is less than 40 degrees celsius you can dye at uh, even uh, 20 degrees celsius and uh, it needs low concentration of sodium hydroxide to wad, uh, reduce the wad dye and um, it has very uh, low substantivity on cotton fabrics so we have to add a good amount of uh, salt to exhaust the wad dyes classes of wad dyes normally the two main class of uh, wad dyes are used in uh, practical applications so first one is indigoids that is a uh, indigo dye and another one is anthraquinone wad dyes so this is anthraquinone wad dyes these two two uh, groups are widely used in wad class and the process sequence for dyeing of wad dyes with uh, on cotton fabric first you have to reduce the wad dyes that is uh, converting the insoluble wad dye into uh, soluble wad dye by uh, reduction method so that process is called watting and the second one is impregnation with leuco compounds that is dyeing of uh, cotton fabric with uh, leuco compound so you have to dye the fabrics uh, materials and the third step again you have to convert the uh, solubilized wad dye into insoluble form by oxidation method so these three methods are uh, three sequence are important for dyeing of wad dyes so watting so watting is uh, reducing the wad dye so this is the wad dye so reducing the wad dye by using uh, hydro sodium hydrosulfide and caustic this will reduce the wad dye into simpler compounds so sodium uh, leuco compound of sodium salt of leuco wad dye so this is a uh, sodium salt of leuco wad dye so it is reduced form so it can easily attack uh, attach it to the cellulosic material uh, so it has very good substantivity to us uh, cellulosic fibers so this is a leuco compound of a uh, wad dye so it has a uh, very good substantivity and uh, it is soluble in water and the recipe for wad dyeing so there are three class so i n i w i k and the concentration of sodium hydroxide and the concentration of sodium chloride dyeing temperature and watting temperature so if you take a uh, concentration of sodium hydroxide so for in it should be 4.5 to 5.5 gpl and uh, iw it is slightly above uh, lower this uh, in the range so 2 to 4 and ik it is 1.5 to 2.5 and uh, sodium chloride concentration that is uh, called salt so in it doesn't require the salt whereas iw 5 to 25 gpl and ik it should be for 10 to 40 gpl and dying temperature so in in 50 to 60 degrees celsius iw 45 to 50 degrees celsius and ik 20 to 25 degrees celsius watting temperature so it is similar to dying temperature only ik the watting temperature should be 40 degrees celsius and this is the process sequence for uh, dying of wad dyes on cotton uh, fabrics so you have to start the dyeing at 20 degrees celsius and uh, raise the temperature to 50 depends upon the type of uh, wad dyes during uh, raising the temperature you add uh, sodium hydroxide and hydros sodium hydroxide and hydros then uh, you raise the temperature to 50 degrees celsius and uh, during the time the wad dyes are dissolved and then uh, you keep it for uh, 30 to four, uh, 60 minutes at 50 degrees celsius 50 to 60 degrees celsius depends upon the type of uh, dye if you require you add uh, salt so during the dyeing period and then you reduce the temperature to 40 degrees celsius and drain the dyes after drying uh, drain the wad dyes it is in uh, soluble form again you have to convert this uh, reduced wad dye into insoluble form by oxidation and there are two methods are uh, practically practically used one is a chemical method and uh, another one is a uh, air oxidation method so in chemical method you, you can use uh, any oxidizing agents for example potassium dichromate and acetic acid or uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide with acetic acid or some other uh, oxidizing agent you can use for a chemical method and in air oxidation you just keep the fabric in air for uh, one minute and uh, the oxygen present in the air will oxidize the reduced wad dye into insoluble form so after watting you wash the sample and uh, remove the unfixed uh, wad dyes by soaping 
and then dry the fabric. So this is the process sequence used for dyeing of radice.